Welcome back. We're here looking at the energy market and it's going to be my weekly forecast for Monday, July 18, 2022. If you like support the channel, we're going to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner, hit the like button and the bell button to see our newest videos and all my trades and portfolio are available in the link down below. So let's start by looking at WTI oil. And as you can see, started out the week from the highs of $105 and we broke all the way down to roughly $90 where we found the 50 moving average, which offered significant support. This was, of course, also significantly overstretched below the Bollinger Band, but also the 50 moving average, as it has done in the past, offered significant support. So we nearly tested it here. We did test it several times here, and uh, we tested it yet again here. So the question is whether or not we, this is the start of a new bullish run, that we were at the top of the bullish band, broke to the lows to the 50, and then continue to the upside. Economic data from the United States was fairly good today. Uh, Chinese data was terrible, um, but that was mainly due to uh, the lockdowns in, in China. Uh, so when activ economic activity can, uh, starts again in, in China, um, then we may see this go higher but breaking below the 50 that opens the door to significant lower levels all the way down to the 200 when we average probably the highest at first 85 and then 66 and then towards the 200 when we average if you look at technical indicators we can see the macd is bearish stochastic is also bearish and rsi is bearish as well with a lot of room to the downside so there's been a lot of damage here but most of it has been due to uh, speculations that the world economy should go into recession. So we could see this as well, a channel to the downside, but we have gone all the way from $123 towards $90 in roughly five weeks. That is also a significant drop. So let's look at natural gas. Natural gas is, um, well, it dropped, fell off a cliff from $9.7 all the way down to 5.3 and then bounced from there. So we can look at the Fibonacci retracements and uh, see that we have crossed 38.2 uh, and the 50 is at just 7.5. Uh, if we break above the 50, then 16, uh, 61.8 is the next target here, which is at $8. So yes, we could be going up uh, towards the Fibonacci retracements. We have broke the first one, could go to the next one, which is here before we break down, or the 61.8 before we break down. Breaking above that, then this would be a very, very, very uh, bullish shine indeed, which is, should be a V pattern to the upside. But that is kind of what I'm looking at at this current stage is the if we get rejected here or see a very, uh, big sell-off uh, similar to this one or those um, that this may go significantly lower. If we look at the technical indicators, we can see the MACD is, become, is still bearish, but it's turning around. Stochastic is bullish and RSI is bullish as well. So momentum is to the upside even, even after this significant sell-off. So hope you find this helpful. You want to support your job, subscribe and hit the like button above on the CR. New videos and good luck and thank you very much. Thank you.